Okay, so I'm uh, showing my recipe for the loaded baked potato salad that we are taking for our 4th of July um, dinner at my aunt's house. Um, I have here, I have um, 12 potatoes, medium sized potatoes cut, washed and cut. Um, some have the, I've left some with the skin on and some with the, that I've peeled. You can do all peeled or you can do all skin on. Um, the recipe that I got this from, they use half skin on and half skin off. Um, so I have here is um, 12 uh, potatoes that are diced up. Um, also for this recipe you'll need mayonnaise or you can use Miracle Whip. It doesn't matter whichever um, you decide you like better. Um, I also have uh, sour cream. Some shredded cheese. I shred it myself. I, I like the flavor of it better. I think when you buy um, the pre-shredded, for me, the pre-shredded, um, it just tastes a little dry and it, it doesn't have as, as good of a flavor. So I do shred it. So I shredded one and a half eight ounce blocks of cheese and I did half of uh, medium cheddar and um, the other part I did um, Colby Jack. You can do any kind of cheese you like. This is just what um, I uh, like to put in mine. Here I've cut, I've um, diced up about eight green onions, both um, the white part and the green part. And also I have uh, 12 pieces of bacon that I've crumbled up, cooked and crumbled up. I'm going to cook my potatoes. So I cook them a little, just a little under from being uh, completely cooked just because uh, they are going to cook another 10 minutes in the oven after we uh, as go to assemble it. So I'm going to go ahead and boil the potatoes now and as soon as those are done I'll come back and show you how I assemble the potato salad. Okay, so I'm at, my potatoes are cooked. Um, they recommend that you do put in the um, mayonnaise and your sour cream mix while it, the potatoes are still hot. It helps mold the flavor better with your potatoes. And I've also got my mayonnaise in there as well. Okay. okay. Next I'm going to add my cheese. This is about two, a little over two, almost three cups. And I'm going to add in my green onions. This is about eight green onions. And my bacon that I've cooked. And then I'm going to mix it all together. And I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It is going, once we get it in our uh, baking pan, we're going to bake it for 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese melts on top. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's really heavy. Spread it into our pan. It's kind of excessive. I, I did a little more than the original recipe, so it's a little full than normal. So you see, we got our green onions in there, cheese, our bacon, okay. and and then I reserved a little extra to put over the top. You can reserve a little of your um, green onion, sure bacon and your cheese and just sprinkle it across the top.
All right, and that's what it looks like. We're going to put that in the oven for, again, for 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted on top. We'll be back and show you what that looks like. Okay, here it is out of the oven. Yeah, I did cook it for 10 minutes. As you can see, the cheese is melted nicely. Everything is really put together well. Also, another option is if you're not big on the chunks of the potato, you could easily make this into a loaded mashed potatoes um, if you wanted to go ahead and do that. I did forget that it did uh, the salt and pepper. Um, so it also calls for um, salt and pepper. Um, I do salt my water for my potatoes, so to me it's salty enough and the kids don't really like the pepper in there, so I just, I just omit it. But of course, I will leave the uh, recipe down below in the description bar. Um, if you give it a try and you like it, let me know. Thanks for watching.